Alright, welcome back to the tutorial for Easy FPS Editor. And in this video I want to show you how, can, uh, how you can uh, add weapons to your game. Alright, so you go to the object settings, weapon settings. And you can have 8 weapons in your project. Let's select the first one and name it Screwdriver. This will be a melee weapon, as you can see, you can untick it here, no projectiles, damage 1, that's fine for the moment, okay, and now let's import the sprites, so uh, these usually take some time to make, I have created ones uh, really quickly, First, let's select the pickup icon, and then this is basically my hand. I just made it with the phone, the picture, and then edited it in paint.net. So this is the idle animation, and then we have the attack animation. You can, of course, make this much more detailed, but I will just uh, keep it simple for the moment, just for testing purposes. Okay, let's accept it. You can also add sounds for every um, action there is to do in the game. Okay, so now the weapon appeared in our objects tab and now let's start the game and test it. New game. And as you can see our screwdriver is here. <laughs> Okay, there's, uh, okay, there, there needs to be some edits first. I completely forgot about set position and scale, yes. So, now we can type in the hut position. Yeah, this one is good. Yeah, let's leave it by zero. And you can, of course, uh, also scale it. Okay, so... This requires some tweaking and uh, it's tried and error a bit. Okay. This should be fine. And now let's test it again. Of course it is not great, it's just to show you what's possible. You can, yeah, you know, the imagination is your only restriction here. You can literally have any weapon you can think of. Okay, let's fix the animation, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit slow. Oh no, that's the wrong one, okay, here. Attack, let's only do one frame. Sprites. Weapons. It's this one, yes. And it's good, let's get back to idle at the third frame already okay and let's crank up the fire rate a bit let's put it to 10 I never did melee weapons yet so this is a new subject for me also yes this is better as you can see And we have also uh, impact decals and particles by default. You can also edit those, but for now this will do. This is really cool, like you can literally take any photo with your phone, um, put it on your PC and edit it and you can have any weapon that's on your desk right now or <laughs> uh, really make stupid weapons also. It's like 
as I said earlier, the imagination is your only restriction. Okay. So now we have a weapon. Let's ex exit the game. And uh, what I also want to show you in this one is how you can create a door. For this you put in a wall, um, a wall texture, place it down and then you go to default modifiers, door and place it exactly where the wall is. The door will then have the texture um, that you have set for the wall. So if I set the door here it will be a lighter wood material, like the wall. Okay, and you can also create locked doors, which is what we are going to do next. Let's paint another room. Okay. Let's place the red key. Like so. You can see now we are getting into Doom type game uh, territory. Okay. Let's place some more lights. And why don't we have like a red light? For this we go to user lights right here on the right side. And now we can um, edit those lights right here, the uh, colorful ones. Okay, so let's say, yeah, let's not take red, maybe yellow. A nice tint of yellow, yes. Yeah, the radius should be fine. And now let's place the yellow light at the red door. Which doesn't make much sense, but it's for testing and tutorial uh, showcase purposes. Okay, let's test the game. Let's pick up our weapon. And as you can see, we have a door here. You can uh, open and close it with the Actually, you only open it, it doesn't close. It closes automatically, okay. And now, we have this door. But, oh, we can't enter it. So, we need to pick up this key. The key icon you can al uh, also change, so. Yes, and now, it's open and you can proceed. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you learned something new and I also hope that this encourages you to use Easy FPS Editor for yourself. Because I think it is really a cool software and kudos and respect to the guy who made it. Uh, link is in the description, it's free to download. Um, yeah, I can only recommend it. See you next time, bye bye.